Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. So today we're gonna create an awesome uh, Instagram, uh, basically scraper, which finds viral posts on Instagram. And basically we'll feed that into an AI agent that will tell us uh, the reasons why certain videos were viral and give us tips on how to make our videos also viral. So it will be an awesome new uh, workflow to be added. So let's delve deep into this workflow and let me explain what is happening. So let's start with the first one. So it's uh, it's a form, it's a form uh, workflow. So it starts with a form and it asks us the hashtag that we want to search for and the number of results. So uh, then after that, we send it to a scraper, so to an Ep Epify scraper. So if you go to Epify, I'll put the link in the description for this. Uh, so it's called Instagram hashtag scraper, which is the, uh, the best one that I got results with. Uh, it, you pay per 1000 results, you pay $2.3. So it's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, let's go back. So here it's set up with Epify, of course. Uh, we're sending the body because it's a post, it's a post request, we always send body. And here inside of the body, we are feeding it whatever we had from the form submission uh, in the previous step. So then what I'm doing here is I'm using the sort node, which is a very, very nice and useful node. What I'm doing is I'm sorting whatever results that I'm getting based on video play count. So it will sort by the top one with the most views on top. Okay, this will help. So then, then this is a very interesting note. This is a code node. Uh, this is a custom code node that uh, basically outputs the hashtag in a way that is readable and usable uh, later on. So it, 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 uh, it outputs the hashtag in a way that hashtag, then keyword, then space, hashtag, then keyword, then space. Because here, and we will see once we run this workflow, uh, this outputs the hashtag in an array. Every, every hashtag is on a separate uh, line. And what we want to do is all hashtags on one line with the, with the symbol of the hashtag. So we can just copy and paste whatever we want. So this is the hashtag. And then what we want is to, we want to add it into our sheet. Uh, and let me show you the sheet here. So this is the sheet we have. So we have the hashtag, we have the title, we have the link and we have the date. So this is the link of the Instagram post. Uh, we have also information about the author, the profile link, and we have the video duration, the video link, the number of comments, number of shares, number of plays, number of likes, the hashtags is what we talked about. And then eventually we have the reasons. And what is the reasons? I will show you in a bit. So we have the AI Instagram agent. So this is an agent powered by GPT-40 Mini and I'm and I have to say recently I've been getting great results with uh, GPT-4 Mini. Uh, it, is, uh, it is great, it is smart and it's cost effective. So what I'm saying is I'm telling this agent that take all the information, all the data that we got, like all the data about the video, about the, about the author, everything, and then analyze it and tell us for each video, what do you think made this video viral? Like, what do you think is the key here? Uh, what are the reasons? And I want this agent to output just reasons for success. So I want bullet points reasons of why this video was successful. As you can see, I have a long prompt here. Uh, don't worry about this. You can get this. Uh, I, will I will just download this and you can just import it, import from file, and you have everything set up, okay? And what I'm doing at the end is I'm appending basically the analysis that uh, this AI agent gave me, okay? So let's let's go to the exciting part, right? Let's run this and let's see it working. So I'm gonna hit execute workflow and this will open up a form. Uh, it's not open up on this screen because it's on the second screen. So I'm gonna say N8N as the hashtag, and I want just 10 results. So I hit submit. So as you can see, it ran. Uh, here, as you can see the results, we have N8N and we have only 10 results, okay? So perfect, as you can see here, it gave us 10 results as we want. 
and it gave us this is what i was saying about the hashtags so it gave us the hashtags as an array each one on a in a in a different uh slot without the hashtag symbol and this is what i'm doing in the code node later on is i'm combining them or combining all of these so we have a bunch of data that is that are cool so uh we'll have the hashtags as you can see here with this code node uh, so the workflow succeeded. So let's uh, see the hashtag what I was talking about uh, Where was it? Yeah, hashtag text is what we as you can see here, here It's uh, it combines them in a one line so we can easily copy and paste then we're adding to the database and we basically added everything here as you can see Perfect then the AI agent gave us bullet points of what made certain videos and we updated everything. So the whole workflow ran successfully. Let's go ahead and go to here. Perfect. So let's see. So the hashtag and it end, we have the title comment link, uh, because this is a trend. Everybody's using this, like comment this in order to get this, uh, this increases engagement. So we have then the link to the actual, uh, to, to the actual video. We have the date, we have the author of this, and we have the uh, the, uh, the username of the author. We have the video duration here, and we have the video link. So if I click on this one. Stop building automations from scratch. Steal these free N8N templates instead. There are. There we go. So it gives us the video. We can download this as well. So it's a, it's a special link. Uh, and we have the number of comments, we have the number of shares, and we have the number of plays. As you can see here, we're sorting by the most plays on top. We have also the number of likes, and we also have this amazing hashtags that we that we created here with the hashtag node, which gives us basically the hashtag that we can just control C, control V, and use if we want with our videos. Okay. And then we have. Uh, we have here the reasons, which is amazing. Let me increase. So here it gives us reasons for every video. So the first one, let's see. Content type, successful videos often features featured tutorials that demystify complex functionalities in N8N, appealing to users seeking practice guide, okay. Creator with higher, higher follow count, showcase and establish authority, so he has authority. So effective use of trending hashtags alongside, okay, that's perfect, video language. So t t uh, 15 to 30 seconds are very, uh, very good. Uh, and then um, variety triggers incorporation of challenges and humor along with a clear call of action. Asking viewers to comment. So this is what I said before. Uh, then engagement metrics, high share to play ratio, perfect. And then you have that for everyone and it tells you that um, pretty cool information, okay? So this is the, uh, as you can see, it gave us 10 because we asked for 10. So perfect. So this is a great way to find trending videos, to you see what the competition is creating, to you see what the hashtags that the other users are using uh, and what made certain video trending. So you can incorporate that with your own short form videos on Instagram. Uh, and then you can also uh, have viral videos of your own. So I will, uh, I will put this whole uh, workflow inside of the community. I have a community called AI Automation Kit. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link in the description below. Awesome people there. Uh, I would like to invite you to join. Uh, I am there to answer your questions, to help support you. Uh, if you did like this lesson so far, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe for more videos, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.